Tonight, an I-Team investigative story that goes in-depth on the health hazards of breathing sand in our air. We all remember how quickly the air quality deteriorated during last week's haboob. The sand and dust was all around us, making just breathing outdoors a challenge. Huh? And it's a serious health concern. That kind of homegrown air pollution is around us every day. News Channel 3's anchor Jeff Stahl is going in-depth on a call to expand air pollution prevention measures around the Coachella Valley. The wind blows, the wind, the wind blows everywhere. And those winds, like we saw when that haboob swept through the Coachella Valley last week, also during sandstorms in our spring and summer months, they pick up sand and dust, a lot of it. Not only does it make visibility and getting around miserable, it's also our major air quality health concern impacting everyone in the Coachella Valley. And looking at past high PM10 days, we had more hospital emergency room visits, more hospital admissions, and more mortality. PM10 stands for tiny particles, 10 micrometers and smaller. Just how small is that? Well, as this diagram shows, just a fraction of the width of a human hair. PM10 particles in the form of ground up sand and dust get into our lungs when they're airborne. We can't get them out. When it comes to long term PM10 exposure, the, the lungs actually age. They get more brittle. They don't have that elasticity. And so you're not passing oxygen as easily through the cells into your bloodstream. Exposure to high levels of particle pollution can cause serious health problems. So a bunch of heart and lung disease symptoms can be exacerbated by breathing high levels of pollution, such as asthma attacks. It could also increase your risk of uh, developing respiratory infection. We are exposed to unhealthy levels of PM10, not only on windy days, but also on any day when we drive around town, grinding up wind-blown sand on the road, turning it into a microscopic PM10 dust. To combat PM10, local cities, Riverside County and the South Coast Air Quality Management District pay approximately $836,000 a year to fund the regional street sweeping program, street sweepers on our major roads. As this graph shows, it's cut dangerous PM10 levels significantly since sweeping started in 1993, nearly 30 years ago. A new Coachella Valley Association of Governments or CVAG study shows new sweeping routes need to be added though due to growth and changing travel patterns. And there are calls to expand it further into the East Valley. It may be that the data indicates that we need such a program or maybe not. Because we do know that the kids lower valley have a higher incidence of asthma. Yeah. They have, you know, they're exposed to a lot more agricultural dust, um, more unpaved roads, and um, it, it, it's a critical issue. There are two official air quality management district PM10 monitors in the Coachella Valley. This one in Indio, a second in Palm Springs, and a third unofficial station in Thermal. That third station first raised questions about the need for more air quality management actions in the East Valley. I spoke to Riverside County Supervisor Manuel Perez, who says people in North Shore, Mecca, Thermal, Oasis, Thousand Palms, and the Shadow Hills area could all potentially benefit from expanded sweeping. If we are truly to get to these attainment levels, then maybe we also need to focus our efforts on the east end of the valley. CVAG is suggesting several additions to its regional sweeping routes in Palm Springs, Sunrise Way, north of Vista Chino, also East Mesquite near Demuth Park, in Rancho Mirage, Duval Drive north of Dinah Shore, and Los Alamos between Dinah Shore and East Ramon. One addition suggestion is here at the Indio La Quinta border. It's Madison and Avenue 50. The intersection here just across the street from where they hold Coachella. There's been a lot of growth over the past years here. They want to sweep this intersection plus a mile to the north, a mile to the south, a mile to the east, and a mile to the west. Further studies are planned to fill in the data points with additional routes being eyed in future agreements. Jeff Stahl, News Channel 3. So what can you do? Experts say be aware of the air quality. You can go to aqmd.gov or use their app to check it. Reduce your exposure on poor air quality days by staying inside and limiting outdoor activities. Also, use your air conditioner instead of an evaporative cooler because ACs don't pull in air into your home from outside. On a dusty day, that would be air filled with PM10 particles. You can see some of the proposed new sweeping routes online right now and read more about what experts say is the Coachella Valley's most significant effort to clean our air of PM10 pollution. It's all at KESQ.com.